Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Part 30. Alright, so, several things I want to talk about, most of which I can do while I'm exploring. One thing I can't do while I'm exploring is show the little modification I made. I got a suggestion a couple videos back to add note blocks. I decided to add two note blocks to my base as an alarm, so if the alarm is set or, or triggered, then it will make the noise. Um, it works because this wire here is the wire to the alarm indicator light, the middle light, and it comes over here and it go comes from over there, so I simply routed the wire over here to a sticky piston that then opens or closes this circuit. This circuit is very simple, it's simply a clock generator very simple. I specifically picked this design because it wouldn't burn out. You can save and reload, come back, and it'll still be just fine. And then the repeater lets it go through this block. So right now, the alarm is, this wire is hot, which makes the redstone torch I use for an indicator be off. But if the alarm was triggered and the light goes on because the wire is off, then that. This repeater here causes the two note blocks to alternate. Otherwise, they'd go at the same time, which wouldn't sound good. And that will go until, of course, you turn off the alarm. Anyway, so that's a little cool. So, thank you for that suggestion. I would not have thought to use note blocks like that, but it was fun to work that out. Alright, so I've already gone already for the exploring. So, let's go on with that. Some exciting news. I've, um, if you've been following Industrial Craft 2, you'll know this already, but it updated to 1.0 a few days ago, as of when I made this. Um, which means that, so I need to go this direction, that, uh, I'll be able to upgrade to 1.0 myself as soon as I finish doing this exploring that I would like to do. So that's fun, because I really want to fully explore a nice large area before I up of 1.7.3 terrain before I upgrade to 1.0, because once I upgrade to 1.0, there's no going back, it'll always be 1.0 terrain because the map generation is actually different as in terrain here in 1.0 than it is in 1.7.3 and um, once I upgrade then I'll only have 1.0 terrain and the other thing that slightly annoys me is the seed will become invalid because at the top of my description where I talk about mods and whatnot after I discuss anything relative to the part um, it says seed mod info, and then I say the seed I'm using is you know, a big chain of numbers. Well, that won't work anymore. That's a 1.7.3 seed, so I'll have to modify the description accordingly. Um, I'm not sure what part it will be when I do finally get to 1.0. I'm hoping it won't be too long. The, uh... I'm estimating part 34 or 35 based on how long exploring has taken in the past. So that's something. I'm trying to find a good spot for the map. Got a, a little off course here because I'm not sure exactly where I am. Hmm. Now I found this big ice lake. According to that, I need to go that way to reach my spawn point, so let's backtrack a little bit here, because I was looking at my cartograph map, and I found a really good spot to make the map, and so I'd like to make the map there. The only problem is that I don't seem to know where that is, because I got a little off track. Ah, okay. Now 
I know where I am. Hmm. Alright. Time for a sleep break. See, this time I was prepared. Of course, let's see, I guess the only problem with doing this is it will reset my spawn point to somewhere random. But I think it's okay because I can get from wherever my original spawn point was to my base without too much trouble. Alright, easy enough. That's back there. That away. Alright, it says this, I'm right at the edge. This is good. I need to go this way to the ocean. I'm looking for a small little island just off the coast. Whoa. Oh, cool. Floating little area. Now that is nice. <laughs> Alright. So first I have to go through the snow area, and then I have to go through some grassy area, and it should be there. There we go, here's the grassy area. Those are flowers, not mushrooms. Ah, there's my little tree to mark the spot, I'm so glad I did that. So, it should be just a little further this way. Hmm. I think this is a little too far. Actually, no, this is it. This is the island. Yeah. This is... Alright, this is it. This is the island I was looking at. Alright. So, let's make the map. See where it puts us. Yeah, okay, good. I, got, I did that right. Alright, and the first thing I'm going to do is go back the way I came. Now, this may seem kind of odd. Like, why do this backtracking? Why don't I... Make a map at the edge of the first map, and the thing is, you see, I was looking at this, the amount of terrain a single map will cover, and I decided it occurred to me that what I should do is go out to the middle of the terrain that I want this map to cover, and build the map there. That way, yes, I'll have to backtrack a lot, but then I'll get the full area. I'm supposed to be on the map. Oh. Oh, no, I, I see. Okay, I recognize that. Huh. This is really strange. Oh, there I am. Well, that's frustrating. Hmm. I guess the snow area area is bigger than I thought? Huh. Hmm. I'm suddenly concerned that this might not work out as smoothly as I thought, but oh well. Let's go back to this area. And this time I'm going to work my way over... Th oh. Wait. Huh. So... Maybe... Okay, so... 
doesn't seem to be that much of a gap actually between them. Well, that's good to know. Huh. Okay. That makes me feel better. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna go along the bottom of this map here. Like this. I'm gonna take this map off my bar for the time being. There we go. Cool. I really don't have time to be distracted looking at caves. Because I want to get to the 1.0 stuff as quickly as possible. Because I actually do know for a fact that it will work out. Because what I've done is I've already upgraded to 1.0. Because I have two separate folders. A beta 1.7.3 folder and a 1.0 folder. And I can all go between them at will. And uh, obviously the save is 1.7 save, and so I have to send it through a little program that upgrades Industrial Craft 1 worlds to Industrial Craft 2. But other than that, and an odd lighting bug, it, uh, ooh, uranium. That's actually rare enough that I'm gonna pause and grab. Even though I've got plenty of it. Okay. And red mushrooms. I think the same logic applies to them as well. If I can get them. Alright, where was I? Right, industrial upgrade. Upgrades the world. 1.0. Well, not to 1.0 directly, but it upgrades an Industrial Craft 1 world to Industrial Craft 2. And that takes time, and the other problem is that... Oh, fish? Oh yeah, it's a fish. But um, the other problem is that it doesn't um, transfer everything over directly, because a lot of the stuff in, in Industrial Craft has different stuff or functions in Industrial Craft 2. So, for example, wiring is completely different. And as a result, instead of just giving you back all the wiring, it simply puts it in your inventory. MFEs no longer have their function as they do now. Because now they're the lower level stuff. In Industrial Craft 2, they're a much higher level, I think they're the um, medium level stuff. So, when I get do a finally upgrade for reels and not just for mod tests, I'll have to go through and alter everything, and um, I'm also going to have to look around for some rubber trees in the 1.0 area, because you don't get rubber from ordinary trees anymore, not in um, Industrial Craft 2. You only get lag. <laughs> you only get lag. You only get rubber from special trees, and I'm lagging. Okay, that's better. Ooh, pumpkins. It's a lot of pumpkins. Anyway, so. So yeah, I think, so, whatever part I do upgrade, it's going to take a lot of time on um, repairing my base. And so I'll show up before, I'll do a quick base tour, and then I'll upgrade, and I'll have to repair everything. But, it looks like it's going to be fun. The Industrial Craft 2 has finally gotten to the point, in terms of content, where I'm you know, willing to upgrade, because for a while it didn't have all the stuff that I wanted to see, like industrial diamonds and quantum suit, which is that mod's version of the nano suit, didn't work properly for a long time, but that seems to be finally fixed. And, uh, yeah. One thing I don't particularly care for is the quantum suit's white. And I guess I'll get used to it, but, I don't know. 
I suppose I could always switch it to switch the nano suit and quantum suit colors uh, models so that it's black, but I don't know if I'll take it that far. I probably just won't look at it. <laughs> anyway, so so that's that. The um Yeah. I think that's everything. Now I just have to finish up all this exploring and we'll be good. <laughs> it's a little oasis in the middle of the desert. Okay, so that takes us to that corner. Desert areas. Don't know what those sheep are eating. They're living in the desert. <laughs> Trees. And see, nightfall again. Okay, so this looks like a good spot as any. Twelve mushrooms. <laughs> That's a lot of mushrooms just to be sitting in one spot like that. that I decided to bring a bed with me. It's saving myself so much frustration. And more lag. I think the lag is because I've got it all on I've got it on fancy graphics and render distance far and all that. But then I'm exploring at high speeds. And between traps and the computer itself, it simply can't well, the game itself, excuse me. The computer simply can't quite keep up with the terrain generation and so I can lag a little bit. But it's okay. Ooh, that hurt, sorry. Okay. We need to keep going this way. And I don't mind trees, but it'd be nice to get back to this flat land. So that's good. Since I don't really need trees and so Okay, this is not just a overhanging rock. Huh. Cool, cool. Anyway, I thought I had mentioned this before, but I got a comment asking about it, so I'll mention it again just for to be sure. Um, my overall exploratory exploration plan is something like this: explore this map and the other map and this map. This is the one my nether base is on. And you know, fully explore all these bases. Then upgrade to 1.0. Then explore the 1.0 area, find a nice place for another base or a secondary base, a as in another base, not a nether base. And at that base, I will build a nether portal. Then once I enter the nether, I'll use my nether map to find, to figure out where I am in relation to um, my previous nether stuff that I have done. And once I do that, I'll be able to dig a tunnel from my nether base to my, either my nether tower or my main base location and uh see how that goes because i if it goes if everything goes well what will happen is i'll warp into the nether pull out my nether map and it'll show me like i don't know half the map away from where i previously explored that's what i'm hoping for and then I'll just eventually i'll dig a tunnel like i did in parts 16 and 19 and stuff like that i finished it in part 19 Boy, that took me so long to build. I think it took me like three hours to build. Because I know part 19 
is like at 8x speed is 20 minutes long. So that's like three hours of footage. But anyway, so. And I probably won't be doing an 8x speed video like I did that time because that video was a pain to upload because it was so large. But, um. Anyway. So yeah, so that's the plan, because when I explore the nether, I'm hoping that when I'm exploring the nether to get back to wherever I um, need to get back to, whether it's my nether base or um, my main base portal or whatnot, I'm hoping that I'll f just find another structure. Lots of lag. In route while I'm digging the tunnel so that I don't have to go looking for it because if I don't then I'm gonna have to go looking for it because I'll need to find another fortress in order to get access to the stuff that you can only grow in the nether which is what I'll be end up using my nether tower for so that will be fun ultimately I'm gonna have basically the nether as sort of a quick transportation thing where if I want to go from base to base, I'll just jump into the nether portal, run through the tunnel, pop out the other, the other nether portal. So that's how that will work. So, but yeah, because the obvious point was if I explore the nether now, then I'll have to go even more nether exploring after I upgrade, which is why I'm not going to explore the nether now. <laughs> Granted, I am exploring a lot of beta 1.7.3 area, but with that, it's not that hard, and it's fast, and, and, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. I don't really care about the nether. I mean, the nether is, you know, not that interesting, as it is now. It will be interesting when it gets up to 1.0, hopefully. So, <laughs> more red mushrooms. At some point, with all this red mushroom collected, I'm going to have all the red mushrooms I need, and I'll get to, you know, all mushrooms. But, um, red mushrooms just seem a lot rarer than brown mushrooms, and so it's like I should keep track of all the red mushrooms, and brown mushrooms I don't care about so much. But, whatever. Underground pool there. It's not like I really need food. I'm almost done. That's how fast this is. Damn it. Oop. Oop. There we go. Oh, wait. This is a sheer cliff. <laughs> uh, or not. There we go. Got it. Okay, good. I need to go that way. Oh, lava. You should be careful. Hmm. Because while I'm immune to lava, my dog probably isn't. Although, actually, no. Yeah, my dog probably is immune to lava because it has hellhound. Right. Still don't want to try it. <laughs> so I only have one dog. I mean, remember that was sort of the side objective: find another dog. I only have one dog. Because I saw a second wolf back in part 17, 16. Can't remember exactly. Whenever I was exploring, and I found this wolf, but I couldn't tame it. I only was able to tame the one. So. Anyway, yeah, I was playing around with the Doggy Talents mod a little bit, and the good news is that it will it'll definitely work, so I won't have any major problems. The bad news is I'm going to have to retrain the dog, because, and that's not so bad, I mean, I'll just, you know, hack in whatever I need, um, to, you know, to get the dog to max level. The downside, though, is that it only can have five maxed out skills. What that means is that I'm gonna only have to, I'm gonna have to like pick and choose. And since I only have the one dog and I I'll need it for transportation, I'm gonna end up probably giving it all the transportation skills. So Featherfall and Wolf Mount, obviously. Um and the various things that aid it that I think will really make it better for when it's traveling around. I think I might 
drop a bit of speed in order to have like lava immunity or something. But the point is you can only get five skills. And so that's slightly annoying. But if this pig would stop pushing me around, I'll be fine. But that's the way it goes. Hopefully I'll be able to find another dog at some point and I'll be able to make this moot because my thought would be to have like three or four dogs that have different purposes. Maybe an attack dog, a ride dog. Hmm. Okay, I'm still still clearly on this map. Okay. Um, stuff like that. But uh, that's kind of dependent upon finding a dog. So, so we'll see how it goes. Interestingly enough, as I was scrolling around through the um, Too Many Items mod, looking at the diff different Doggy Town stuff, I noticed an item called Doggy Charm that I think is unattainable by legitimate means. And if not, it should be. <laughs> because you right click it, spawns another dog. So, which, I don't know. I, I can see how that would be really useful. But, um. At any rate. So I just noticed something. It's kind of dark out. So I guess I should. Go to sleep. Let's see. The problem is, I'm, I just noticed I've also gone off the map here. I need to be very careful because I'm really far away from my spawn point, so my indicator of spawn point direction won't help me that much. Alright, this is ridiculous. I can't see what I'm doing. As soon as the train finishes loading in, we'll be good to go. Oh. Ow. Wait, ow? Oh. Huh. So this is good, I've been making good time. Got that map done, and this map done. This is actually my main map. There we go. I need to get back on this map so I know where I'm going, and I need to find that map. Hmm. I get the feeling I'm generating new terrain, which is not what I want to be doing. Hmm. Okay. Spawn point is... that direction. Oh, right, because it's registering where I last spawned. So this is actually good. It'll take me back. Which, actually, that won't help me any. Hmm. That's irritating. Huh. This is slightly annoying. <coughs> My guess is that the maps didn't work out perfectly, and so I'm like between maps right <coughs> now. Well, that's definitely new. Well, yeah, because it just. Huh. It's gonna pull out the flowers. Yep. Huh. 
Huh. Fascinating. First time I've ever seen that. Gotta go quite some distance. It's a big lava flow. And all from one source block. Huh. It's gonna hit the water at that rate. Still must be a bit of a problem. <laughs> Put simply, I have no idea where I am. problem. I wasn't really paying attention to the world so much as I was looking at the map. So now, 